Hey everyone, my name is Alicia, also known as Alicia Chappie on here, or Alicia Chappie, also known as Alicia, however you want to freaking put it. <laughs> uh, Alicia Chappie on here, and it's Alicia Chappie on Instagram, as if it's behind me, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about 2020, and then the question that every single vegan gets asked. Where do you get your protein? If I had even just a penny for every time I've been asked that, I'd have some money. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to touch bases a little bit on this whole protein situation. I don't think people realize like how much protein's in anything, right? We're taught that meat, animal meat is a protein cheeses and oil and avocados and stuff those are fats and then everything else is carbs carbs are the enemies you need good fat and all proteins are great not the case so of course we do need all three things to live a healthy life our body utilizes all three our energy comes straight from carbs so you need carbs preferably a lot of them just not refined and not filled a lot of junk. Fats we do need, but in small moderation, especially for losing weight. Also, you can get protein other places besides dead animal. I don't even think most people realize how much protein they actually need, how much protein uh, their food actually has in it, what your food contains. Most of us are kind of clueless. We're just taught those are the three things. Those are how you get it. This is what we have to consume in order to achieve these numbers or, you know, diuretic type goals. All right, so let's break it down. For let's say chicken, because that's known as like the lean, healthy meat. Same with fish. Well, let's just do chicken though, because I feel like I know a lot of people that don't like fish. Cup somewhere in there has about 31 grams of protein. Everybody's like, yeah, you know, that's a lot of protein. That's what you need. Most people's intake for what we do, especially how sedentary we mo most of us are, you need like 26 to 38 grams of protein, depending if you're female, male, whatever. All right, so flip the script, right? So a cup of raw pinto beans, which obviously you're not going to eat them raw, but a cup of raw pinto beans has 41 grams of protein. So cooked... It's about, it's almost 16 grams. And then let's say you eat that with spinach. A cup of spinach has almost three grams. Uh, and the things that these two have in common that animal protein does not is fiber. You have to then add extra fiber to your diet. When you're eating these types of proteins, beans, veggies, obviously veggie isn't like, oh, protein is not what we categorize it as, but it has protein in it. And I think we forget that. Fiber helps you pass everything through smoothly. It gives good bacteria to your gut, moves your stool through. So you're, you're having that included in your protein rather than just having chicken, then adding spinach and so forth. So the whole protein topic is just like, you know, there's some people that disagree with this. It is what it is but I get to consume enough protein and you can consume enough protein as well without harming any animals. Plus the other side effects, uh, side effects of animal protein is heart disease, heart failure, you know, all the clogged arteries and hurting another animal. Plus it takes a lot of food to feed these animals and just a lot of other stuff. So even if you don't want to do it for animals, the planet, whatever, do it for yourself, do it for your health. So I just kind of wanted to, touch on that topic really quick based on all the questions about protein. There is protein in almost everything. I urge you to do your research. All right, get into the second part of the video. I am doing a giveaway. Giveaway alerts. End of the video though. Uh, 2020, what a freaking year. What a year. I'm gonna bypass all the, you know, political stuff, all the sickness stuff. And I'm just going to go through kind of like the year I had. Uh, well, the year started interesting. I got to like travel to a couple places. 
Um, I lost my best friend. I'm not sure her face is right here. I have a big blanket of her. I'm not going to talk too much about that because that'll make me break down and cry. And uh, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to skip over that, but I lost my best friend. Finding this, finding the Star Solution, starting YouTube. People have been encouraging me to start a YouTube for a while, but it was for makeup, not for uh, this. So everybody's a little shocked when I started YouTube over this rather than makeup and beauty. Just thought that documenting myself go through this rather than waiting till I've lost all the weight would kind of just be a different spin for people. Getting rid of oil is like the best thing I've ever done. Just saying. Now when I eat it, my stomach hurts. That was probably one of the biggest things for me in 2020. And then second is I hiked, started to hike the Colorado Trail. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what that is, the trail that runs from basically Littleton, Waterton Canyon in Colorado to Durango. I did plan to go the whole length. However, I did get called back to work on one of our zero days. So I couldn't return back. Uh, and about mile, oh, I'm gonna mess this up. I think it was like 86. Um, I was super cold the night before, shivering. I was getting ready to push on because Breckenridge is next. Um, and I would have been able to make Breckenridge. But the person I was hiking with was really concerned about how freezing I was. And if we had another rough night going over, um, going over, um, if we were at high elevation that I would get even colder that night. So they were genuinely worried about my health and safety. So I appreciate that. However, I'm really bummed I didn't make it to Breckenridge. So by the time we hiked into that part and hiked back out, I think my total was like 92 miles. I hiked to the Colorado Trail. I had never done a through hike before. Uh, I think I did that in total of seven, six hiking days, but we had one and a half rest days, so technically eight, but only five and a half actual hiking days that I did that in. And that was at 222 pounds, where I started fully overweight, my body was hurting, let me tell you. I also did the trail vegan. So not only is this my first trail, I'm overweight, I have no experience doing this, just regular hiking obviously, and try to do it vegan. Hitchhiking, uh, which is funny, that's the first time I've ever hitchhiked and I've successfully done that now. Awkwardly, not a fan, not a fan at all, however, Whenever I see a hitchhiker now, you bet your butt that I am picking them up, <laughs> especially in mountain towns. You, you want to lose some massive weight, go on a through hike. That'll, that'll do it. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on protein and how that's such a farce. Nobody's in the hospital over protein deficiency. Do your research. Just remember that. Just remember that for the fluffy cows and piggies, okay? Just remember that. And then my reflection on 2020. Now, here is the giveaway. So the giveaway is going to be in the spirit of talking about the Colorado Trail. Obviously, I'm an outdoors person. If you have seen my Instagram, it's Alicia Chappie. I am giving away a $75 gift card to REI. Because who doesn't love REI? If you don't know, and I'm, this is not sponsored by them. I used my own money. This is definitely not sponsored. I wish. That'd be super cool. If you don't know, REI has the dopest most insane return policy you can use something up to a year and return it if it doesn't work which is still bananas you doesn't you don't have to be like an insane hiker canoeer stand up paddleboard snowboarder skier like anything you could just be like hey i really wanted some new cute outdoorsy or hey maybe i needed some money towards my backpack because you are a crazy hiker whatever there is something for everybody Plus, I don't really know anybody that doesn't like Patagonia or North Face, whether you're a big outdoors person or you just like looking cute. The rules for the giveaway are, and then I'll be doing the announcements probably January 14th. So I'm gonna have it a full week, a full week, okay? A full week to do this. So comment down below, let me know why you want the $75, because personally I want the $75 to hurry by. And let me know what you're gonna buy with it. Let me know what you want $75 for. Thank you all for watching. Just go get your protein from plants, I beg you, for your body's health, for the planet's health, and for the little baby animal's health. And get your $75, let's do this. Thank you, everybody. 
Also, for any of you guys wondering, which probably not, these freckles are not freckles. I turned my zits, my blemishes, into these beautiful beauty marks because ain't nobody got time. And you can live a long, happy, healthy life, cruelty-free.